Hello everybody and welcome to a new tutorial. Today I will show you how we can draw this piece in AutoCAD 2021 in 3D. So we will start with this section. So keep it in mind these dimensions from those four lines. 90, 142, 65 and back from the starting point. So let's get started. L from line command, 90 units. Make sure you have the auto command active, it's very important. So 90, 142, 65, and back from the starting point. Let's have a look again now. Here we can see two little circles. We are not sure about the dimension of this circle, but let's assume that this circle have a diameter of 16, exactly the thickness of this wall. So we have two circles with a diameter 16 located 25 units far away from this line, as you imagine, and this line as well. So we will build a rectangle with both dimensions 25 and 25 to reach this point. So this is our first goal. Rectangle command, starting from this point, 25, tab 25. So here it is our first circle, exactly this point. So circle command, D from diameter, 16. We can delete now this. Okay, and the other circle is located on the same line as you see here but on a distance of 92 plus 25, so that means 117. So line from this point, 117. And let's copy now this circle. So copy, find the middle and place it exactly in this point. You can delete this line now. And as you see here, we need two radius. So the first one, it will be a radius of 25 degrees and the other one the same so if you let air from radius 25 the first one and the same thing we will do it in the other side good now let's go with the 3d plan let's add a thickness of 16. Now we must apply the join command to have one single object, not many pieces as we have here. So select all the borders, all the boundaries and write join command to have one single piece. Good. Now go with the press pull command, select this surface and go down with 16 units. Good. Now let's have a look again. The next step is to build this part. So we need to have here a line of 50 minus 16. So that means 34 units. We'll go with another line here of 142 and we will construct this line to have another object here. And we'll go up with 34. Then we'll go in this direction with 45 units and we will construct a diagonal line. So let's get started. And by the way, here we have two circles with the diameter 28 and 50. So line command from this point, 34. Now another line from this point of 142, exactly this length, and 34 again. Now going this side, with 45 units and back from here good now everything seems to be perfect you can delete those two lines line again from this point until you reach the other line good now let's focus on this little circle so we have here a circle we can see that there is a distance of 20 units right here. So this line is 34. That means from the exactly center of the circle until you reach this boundary, it will be 34 minus 20, 14 units. So we will build a line from here of 14 units. And then here we have a radius of 16 as the diameter of the circle is. So line from this corner, 14 and now let's go the other plan so press at front 
here I need X, Y axis, so I'll go with tool, new UCS, and view. Good. Now I will build circle from this point with a radius of 8. Now I can delete this line. I will use fillet, air from radius, and 16. Good. Let's go now with 3D plan again. Here I need to build another two circles. So the first one it will be with the diameter of 28 and the other one with the diameter of 50 units. Good, so circle. I'll build from this point. D from diameter 28 and circle from this point. D from diameter 50. Let's move those two circles. So move command, select this edge until this point, select again these two circles, move command, select this edge until here. Good, now let's build two lines. So line, this edge until this, and line, it will be a basically a perpendicular from this edge. Good, select those two lines, apply the join command to have one single one, now select the entire drawing here and press trim and delete this part. Good. Now copy this circle with it on a distance of let's say 100 units, it doesn't matter. Line again because I need the half of the circle. Okay, now select the circle and the line, trim again and trim this half. We can now delete also this line, move command, and put it back of 100 units, as you see. Select the half of the circle, select these lines, this radius also, and this line. Now join command to have one single object, one single boundary. Good, press pull, and we will press pull it with 16 units. Good. As you see here, I need a hole, so I will select not the edge, I will select the interior surface to have one hole. And as you see here, I already generated. Good. For the next step and the final one, I need to have here a thickness of 42 units, as you see, but here I need to have 20. So I will say like this, let's move it, this circle, which is right here, to move it here and then to put it at 20 units far away. So select the circle, move command from this side, from this point until here. And now let's move it again, let's move them again basically with 20 units. Good. Press pull now with this circle 42 units. And let's make also the hole to be complete. And as you see, now it's perfect. And for the final step, we will build here a shape by adding a line exactly in the center and then we will offset the line for each side with 15 units as you see. So let's do it. And as you see here, we have a depth of five units. Good, let's go with the top plan. Now, tools, new UCS and view. Good, and line command again. Now offset with 15 units. In both directions, you can delete it now. We will build again a circle. So find the middle. And if you remember from the last circle, we'll put diameter and 50 units. Now I will use the trim command. So select this circle, which is located here, and these two lines. Trim. Okay, this is the first one, as you see, and the final one. Good. Now let's trim also this part, but 
I think it's better select the whole drawing trim and now it will be fine Okay, and the final arch. Now join command to have one single piece. Let's go back a 3D plan. Press pull command and go with five units. Now let's delete the shape and let's have a final look. Shade it with edges and here it is. For a final step, select the union command, which is located here, select the whole drawing, enter to have one single object, move command. And now I think it's a good idea to delete all these extra lines. So I have one clean drawing. And here it is. Our drawing now is complete. I hope this video helped you, as always don't forget to like, share, subscribe to my channel, don't hesitate to have a look at the other playlist and see you next time.